Oh my gosh, hola, how are you? What's going on? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a little while, hasn't it? Yeah. We are back with the vlogs and I gotta catch you up, okay? We gotta talk. Whew. All right, so I'm getting dressed because I actually have my cousins over this weekend. Cause I was just like, you know, I started, I just, I'm starting to feel like the goal that I want or that I have for this year is to just be more present for my family. You know what I'm saying? And stop waiting for the right time to do things. Like host people, have people over, especially when I have a inkling in my spirit to do so. Like I feel like, you know, my brother and my cousins, they're going to school here now from, and they came from Nigeria. And I just felt like, you know, they've been staying with my parents. I haven't really had them over at my place. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna host them this weekend. So all three of them are at my place which is like so interesting. So I kind of just want to update you guys on just some things I've been thinking about that I really want to share and like see if y'all feel the same way. But before we get into all of that, we have a little word from our sponsor today. Y'all know I love BetterHelp, okay? If you guys don't know about BetterHelp, that's H-E-L-P. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 25,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a whole range of issues. You guys know like I am such a supporter of therapy as someone who has been in therapy for many many years of my life it is groundbreaking I love it I think anyone that has access to it should absolutely do it so basically to get started you're going to answer a few questions about your needs and like your preferences for therapy because that is a thing you know needs and preferences are a thing therapy is definitely not one size fits all not every therapist will be great for every person that way BetterHelp can help match you with a therapist that is the best fit for you from their network and then you can talk to your therapist however best you feel comfortable, whether that's text, phone, video call, or chat. First off, you can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions whenever it's convenient for you. If for whatever reason the therapist doesn't work for you, cause that is definitely a thing, sometimes it's a process to find you know, the best fit, BetterHelp will help switch your therapist and find the right one for you at no additional cost. So with BetterHelp you get the same professional quality that you would get in in-office therapy, but with a therapist that is custom picked for you, more scheduling flexibility, and at a more affordable price. Click the link in my bio guys to get started. You can get 10% off your first month using my custom link, okay? That's betterhelp.com backslash chizzy. Taking care of your mental health, giving yourself that opportunity to talk something out with someone is amazing. So definitely check them out. Click the link in my description box and thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. All right, so I wanna talk about something that has just really been like, I don't wanna say eating at me cause it's, it's not, it hasn't been eating at me. It's more just like something I've been working through and, and thinking about. And I just feel like I wanna share it cause I feel like there may be someone else that's experiencing the same thing. I'm gonna put on a little bit of makeup because I am gonna be going to a little program today at my church. They are having like a men's conference, but <laughs> This really, you know what I hate? I hate that sometimes I feel like it seems like I'm really obsessed with like marriage and dating and I'm actually not. <laughs> I'm not, but also at the same time, there's also kind of nothing wrong with that, especially if it's a healthy desire. So two things can exist at once. Anyway, I'm not going there because there's men. I'm going there because one of the reasons why I actually invited my cousin and my brother over was because I knew that this men's conference was hap happening this weekend and I really, really wanted to get, honestly, as many men that I know to go. You know, I'm gonna start in family first, of course. And I knew like it would be easier for them to get there if they stayed with me. So girl, I've been saying this for a long time, but I feel like men are under attack. Okay, men need empowerment. They need to know the truth. They need to know who they are. They need to know just like how important they are. They need those safe spaces with other men that also carry lights, you know, and that can teach them the ways of the Lord. Or just teach them how to live in an upright manner, you know, and just just to help them be the best that they can be. Anyway, the evening session, it's basically for all men and it's closed off to just men, but the Saturday evening service, um, they open it up to women too because they have a guest speaker, Pastor Kingsley Okonkwo, who I was like introduced to like not, not too long ago and I actually really like his sermons and stuff. So I really want to go and plus obviously I need to pick up my brother and my cousin. So I was just like, might as well go. <laughs> So um, me and my cousin, we're gonna go and get dressed and go. So that should be fun, I'm really excited. But yeah, back to what I was saying. Yeah, so I feel like something that, not that we don't talk about enough, but I think it's a, a real thing that happens with women or maybe anyone that is on like a fitness journey or a wellness journey or just 
anything like that weight loss it's just the mental gymnastics that can happen when you go on a journey that has to do with your body I don't know if y'all noticed and you don't have to notice it's fine but I gained a little weight I gained a little bit of weight okay I gained a lot of weight okay not a lot but like low-key a lot but like low-key a little bit anyway whatever I gained weight visible weight to me at least and visible weight because I know that my jeans is fitting tight now I'm like whoa I wanted to talk about what I noticed in my fitness personal wellness weight loss journey just some mental things that I noticed about it that maybe some of you guys may be going through or maybe it's something that some of you all can look out for as you're on a journey of bettering yourself, taking your fitness more seriously and all of that. So I lost quite a bit of weight um, last year. Around this time last year, I was at my not only smallest, but like physically like toned, okay? Girl, I was in the gym. I was in the gym and it was paying off. The funny thing about it is like, I worked out not only for body stuff, it was, you know, for my health as well. I found that working out consistently really helped with my mental health and all. And one of the effects of like really being consistent and going to the gym is you, like your body will literally physically change. <laughs> So for the first time in my life, because I wasn't working out, watching my body every two seconds, trying to see it shrink, I was actually working out because it was something that was really helping me and I, it, it just helped me in so many ways beyond the physical, well, beyond like my physical body that I just kept up with it. And I had a routine that worked, you know, I had accountability, I had a personal trainer, I had a friend that was like super consistent in the gym and we lived close to each other so we just would go to the gym a lot. So I was really consistent and I saw such progress in my body that I, I was shocked. I was just like, I didn't even know that the body could do this just from working out. Like, I thought I would have to get a BBL and lipo to get some results like this. Girl, my body was on fleek. I've never seen my stomach so flat. I'm like, wow. And you know, I was eating well too. But you know what also started happening? Which I tried as much as possible to be co cognizant of and to avoid. But I think it's just something you have to go through. What started happening was that I became hyper aware of my body and my results because of a few reasons. One, I had people telling me, oh my God, Chizzy, you look so good. <laughs> really great feeling when somebody tell you that okay like especially when you know the work that you've been putting in however I've always been a person that advocates for not speaking on people's bodies even if it's like even if you mean it mean it in an innocent way because you don't know what it can do to people mentally and because you know I came into this always knowing this so like when people would tell me like you know oh my god you look so great like girl you look snatched you know I was I would say thank you of course but I always would keep a mental note of Chizzy don't like remember not to equate these things to your worth okay Chizzy like and I would have to try and tell myself that but you know after a while it started to get to me because I was hearing it so much I am a very I think it's important to know who you, the type of person you are. I am the type of person that if it's around me a lot, it will start to influence me. So not only were people on the outside being like, oh my God, Chizzy. Also the people that I was working out with also was very kind of hyper. They also kind of had like that hyper awareness of body image and stuff. So they would like pinpoint like, oh yes girl, your, your waist is looking smaller. Like you're looking more snatched. Ooh, your booty's getting bigger. I always knew at the back of my mind, Chizzy. This ain't good. You know, because when you really start building muscle, you be, you can be, start becoming just aware of how you look. All of that to say, I started to get a little fixated on my body, for sure. I knew that I started getting fixated when I would stop working. Maybe I stopped working out for like a week or something. Maybe, I don't know if I, maybe I would travel. And I started feeling like, I would have thoughts of, oh my God, I'm gonna get big again. When you start having thoughts like that, when you start having thoughts like that, uh, <laughs> yeah. So I just started feeling like super, just hyper aware of what I looked like. And I really hated that for myself. And honestly, <laughs> I don't know if I started self-sabotaging or it's the fact that, I mean, I've never really liked working out. <laughs> I always say it online, like I, every time I'm just like, dang, so I have to keep working out. Like the results are great, but I still gotta keep this up. So I think a part of it was that I thought maybe I could just like chill out because I look so good. <laughs> I 
I'm like, I mean, I look good now, so do I really gotta work out as hard? But low-key muscle memory is kind of a thing, so if you stop working out for two weeks, you're not gonna completely blow up and you're not gonna look substantially different. But if you stop working out for six months, you will, or even three. Anywho, what started happening was, you know, life happened. I wasn't working out as much with um, the friend that I consistently would work out with. And I stopped working out as much with my personal trainer because I started feeling like, you know, I can handle this on my own. Before you knew it, I was back to eating just like slowly. It wasn't like a instant thing, but slowly, like I would just have these, you know, just eating, eating junk and not working out and I didn't have as much accountability. And for a month, that's fine. Get back on it, you'll be all right. Two months, mm. three months, ooh, four months. And honestly, I feel like I've really been acting for quite a few months now, quite a few months for sure. So, anywho, all of that to say, I noticed that I gained weight and man there is something to be said about losing weight and then gaining weight oh my gosh the tune is hot because let me let me speak for myself I found myself having like thoughts of like just a, like some shame of like oh wow I gained the weight back now I'm back at square one also people are I felt like people could see that I gained weight that's another thing that will get you right you know not wanting to start over and just there's a lot of like you can experience a lot of like shame and and, and guilt and condemnation and that is not no no absolutely not I find that a lot of this stuff is always, there's always a deeper thing behind it all. And one thing I'll tell you is that life has been life for me. I've been going through some things, but <laughs> I've been going through some things. So, you know, at the same time, I give myself grace. I know that like, this is, this is not the end of the world because I gained like what, 15 pounds? I don't even know how many pounds I gained. All I know is that I visibly look bigger. So I know I gained weight. <laughs> Cause I actually don't weigh myself. I just measure. I find measurements to be like way more accurate <clears throat> Especially if like you're building muscle because the, the scale will just lie to you. Anywho, all of that to say, I've come to the point where I'm just like, all right, Chizzy, we're not about to sit here and be swallowed by negative thoughts. That's what we're definitely not gonna do. Yes, you tried your hardest to avoid these feelings and you know, falling into a negative or toxic cycle of body image, but you fell into it. It's okay. Pick yourself up, we caught it, let's move on and get back on track. So I'm back with my personal trainer and just trying to get back into, you know, consistently working out. And also first, more importantly than not eating right. I actually really haven't been, like, I haven't been properly eating. Like, I haven't been giving myself proper nutrition. <laughs> when I tell y'all I be eating donuts, it's like crazy. It's crazy. I be eating donuts. <laughs> And donuts bro like I have a crazy sweet tooth I have a crazy sweet tooth and I just ate donuts like I would just eat a donut I was my meal for the day that was another thing I noticed that was another toxic thing that I noticed I was like if I wanted to like binge on like some unhealthy food how I would rationalize it was all right I'll eat two three donuts and I won't eat for the rest of the day because I know that this is basically gonna be my calories for the day. I just, I'm basically not fueled because all I have is sugar in my body. Just not, it's not proper nutrition. Like, it's just not proper nutrition one-on-one. I started like counting calories and it's like, no. The way I'm thinking about everything right now is that my body deserves to be fueled properly with the proper nutrition because my body needs it. It's not even about working out five days a week. And no, it's about making sure I get three square meals in a day. That include carbs, healthy fats, protein, and vegetables. Three times a day. Make sure you are eating that and snack and drink lots and lots and lots of water. So I'm just thinking, you know, I'm, I'm reframing my mindset around my body and what my body needs and deserves. And it's not about getting snatched in four weeks. Do we want to get snatched in four weeks? Absolutely. But more importantly than anything, I just want to take care of myself. I want to feel good internally. And I don't know if that maybe can help any of you guys that are just out there. Maybe you're struggling with this as well. But I think when it comes to personal wellness, fitness, weight loss, weight gain, anything, when it comes to your wellness journey, I think it's important to come from a place of love. I think I think it's really important to come from a place of love when it comes to these things. It's not if you're just looking physically purely body image, even when you get it, you'll still be like, I don't like this. And I, you have to find a way to love yourself regardless. And I have to find a way to love myself in all sizes, 
all stages of my life so that's basically really what's been on my mind and I just felt like I really wanted to share that if any of you guys can relate let me know in the comments I just put a little bit of lip gloss on this lip gloss is actually so good I really need to just start buying my press-ons in bulk I don't know at this point why I don't do that like it doesn't make any sense I'm hungry I'm hungry it's like I want something sweet see 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 that's basically what I've just been going through that I want to share with y'all let me know your thoughts I'm finna just go be an auntie now I'm gonna be a good auntie and I think my my cousin needs like clothes so I'm gonna just see what clothes I got laying around. Is this what it's like to have a younger sister? They just take your clothes? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that and then we're, we're off to a church program. Yeah. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna catch you guys later. Shout out again to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you guys check the link in my description box to get 10% off your first month using BetterHelp. Okay, that's H-E-L-P. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.